Budapest is a city where you could spend a week-long holiday, visiting lots of thermal baths, museums, walking along the cozy streets and enjoying the promenade near the Danube River. The Danube River divides the city into two parts, Buda and Pest. Once there were two separate cities. The Buda part of the city contains the following prominent sites. The Buda Castle. You can leave to the castle by the funicular. The road on foot takes about 10 minutes, although it goes slightly up. The fisherman's best town with the gothic St. Matthias church. If you climb the hill of Liberty statue, you will observe amazing panoramic view to the city. Be aware that the leave to the statue is not easy at all, but it's definitely worth visiting. At the foot of the Liberty Statue Hill, in the rock, you will find the cave church and can take excursion by audio guide there. On the way to the statue, you will see the funny playground. Here is the Statue of Liberty itself. Two parts of the city are connected by the plenty of bridges, but the most significant one is Chain Bridge Sechini. It is possible to set off into the excursion by the river boat, so you could see all the most popular sites situated near the bank of the Danube River. There are some excursion boat tours with dinner. There is a variety of river cruises along the Danube, covering several European countries. If you still have free time, you can go for a walk on Margaret Island, the green area of Budapest.
If you visit Budapest for the first time, you can get tickets for the excursion bus tour Hop on Hop off. Thanks to such tour, you will see the most popular sites of the city by bus. In the past part of the city, you should visit first of all the parliament. The parliament is the most amazing site not only in Budapest, but also in the entire Hungary. The decision about its constructing was made just after the declaration of Hungarian independence as a symbol of the country's liberty. You can enter the parliament only in the guided excursion group, in English, German or Russian languages. In the middle of the parliament building, under the biggest dome, you can see the legendary relic of the country, the crown of the first Hungarian king. It is under the permanent armed guard of the most elite troops. It is forbidden to shoot it on camera, so unfortunately we don't have any photo of it. So we recommend you to visit the parliament and see the crown with your own eyes. At the end of the tour, you get to the parliament museum, where you can use multimedia devices to learn about the history of this grandiose structure and about its functionality. The Hungarian parliament have sessions here. If you want to find some local souvenirs, have a look into the old central market. Hero Square is a popular place for a walk. Androshe Shopping Avenue stretches from the Hero Square to the bank of the Danube River. Near the Hero Square you will see the lake. Near the lake is the most famous and popular thermal bus Sechini. You will see more use in Sechini thermal bus. Disco parties are held here on weekend. There are pools with fresh and thermal water up to 40 degrees, steam bus and saunas. Our score for such an eternal bus is 10 out of 10. The next thermal bus which we also liked is Gallard, which is situated in the hotel on the Buddha part of the city. This bus is spacious, the pools are decorated with beautiful fresco, everywhere are sculptures of angels, there are pools with fresh and thermal water also here up to 40 degrees and sauna. Our score for Gallery Thermal Bus is 10 out of 10. Dandar Thermal Bus is more popular among the locals and not so crowdy. It is a little bit smaller but rather comfortable. There are pools with fresh and thermal water up to 40 degrees and sauna. Our score for Dandar Thermal Bus is 9 out of 10. Kirite Thermal Bus is one of the most ancient thermal bus which was built during the Osmanian Empire ruling time. The most impressive interior part of this thermal bus is a big dome about the central pool. There are pools with fresh and thermal water up to 40 degrees, steam bus and saunas. This thermal bus can be interesting for the historical point. But unfortunately, it is not so comfortable and well equipped as another thermal bus like Sydney, Gellert and Dunder. That's why I recommend you to visit the previous three thermal bus above first of all. Our score for Kirai thermal bus is 5 out of 10. You will find all the bus amenities like uh, towels, swimsuits, slippers in the stores of the thermal bus complexes. But you can take it with you from home as well. It's more convenient to get the ticket with a cabin rental 
where you can change your clothes and leave your belongings. Everyone has a bracelet which opens, closes your locker or cabin and indicates the time that you spend in the thermal bus complex. You can find here a shower, hair dryers, where you can tidy yourself after bathing. Near the Sechene Thermal Bus, behind the Hero Square, you will find the gorgeous Vaida Hunat Castle. Vati Street is well known for its cafes, restaurants and stores. We highly recommend you to taste the national Hungarian soup goulash. St. Stephen's Basilica is the most famous cathedral in Budapest and the entire country. For more details about Budapest, you can visit our website, which is in the description below. Don't forget to click the thumb button, share the video if you like it, and subscribe to our channel.